In hotels, we provide different types of services and facilities for relaxation and personal care treatment. The most common luxury facilities are spa, sauna, steam bath, jacuzzi, and solarium. So in this video, we are going to explain the difference between these terms. If you want to soothe your tiredness, aching muscles, especially after a zealous workout, then both sauna and steam are awesome ways. But both look similar from outside. A smaller contained heated room meant to sit or lay down. But there is one key difference between these two and that is the types of heat they supply. Sonas uses dry heat which is produced by a warm pile of rocks. In traditional sonas, these rocks were warmed by using wood burning but nowadays we can use electricity or gas. This complete set which produces this dry heat in a lower compartment is called kias. This also referred as a sauna stove especially if it is uses wood burning and if this uses electricity then it's called sauna heater humidity in saunas is very low so some also pour water over heated rocks in sauna for a little bit of humidity in sauna due to this dry heat you're going to sweat a lot in sauna it's like sitting in an oven but steam room also looks similar to sauna but instead of dry heat it uses wet heat there are generators filled with boiling water which produces steam and pump into the room steam increases the temperature of the room difference between sauna and steam is that sauna use dry heat and temperature is may vary from 150 to 190 degrees fahrenheit and humidity level is about 10% if no water is added. On the other hand, in steam room, we used steam, a wet heat, which creates 100% humidity, but temperature is comparatively kept low, near about 110 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, there is also one more way to relax, a jacuzzi. It's a large hot tub which has the underwater jet system to massage your body. These water jets inside the jacuzzi function at a high temperature and this pressure can be adjusted. Jacuzzi provide hydro massage to your body and can also be used for pleasure and relaxation. A little trivia and a funny fact about jacuzzi is many people are not aware that jacuzzi is a brand name registered under the Jacuzzi Incorporated in California, USA. It is the most famous and reputed brand for making hot tubs, pools, and saunas. It has become so famous that in a common usage, the word jacuzzi referred as any hot tub that has adjustable jets constantly stirring water. Now comes the spa. This is the quiet confusing as it offers wide variety of things. The word spa was first used in ancient Greece and Rome for naturally occurring thermal springs. There were used for bathing and relaxation and believed to benefit health and well-being. These sense has not changed much in present times. The difference is that now it offers wide variety of things. There are used for improving health, relaxation, personal care treatments such as facial and massage. A luxury spa may also contains the facilities like sauna, steam bath, jacuzzi, or whirlpool. Different categories of spas that is a topic for another video. There is also one of the term people confused about it. It's solarium. From the name, as it is includes solar work, so you might have an idea that is something related to sun rays. Well, it is also a closed space entirely covered with glass walls, which permits abundant daylight, hence also known as sunroom. This also acts as a greenhouse chamber in which temperature is comparatively high as compared to outside. People also use it to have a sun tan and to maintain it. Sun tan means a brown or darker shade of skin develop after exposure to the sun. This facility is commonly found in cold climate 
wooded areas. Nowadays, we also have solarium tanning, especially the units that used ultraviolet radiation to tan the skin. But you should be aware of the danger of the exposure to harmful UV rays radiation, which may cause skin cancer. Due to this commercial, solariums were banned in Australia and in some countries in the year 2015. So that could be all in today's vlog. Hoping you'll always be there for my next vlog. God bless and more powers to us. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Keep safe everyone!